like to repeat a very simple concept. There is no way to know how much radiation has been leaking from the Fukushima nuclear power plant since uh, uh, it's just a big mess and they've had explosions and fumes coming out and there has never been uh, a, uh, a correct uh, precise way to measure all these uh, leaks into the environment. The only way to know how much uh, um, radioactive materials and radiation was released into the environment uh, is to uh, measure what is still in the uh, nuclear uh, waste disposal, um, fuel pool waste disposal um, area and what's still in the mo uh, melted um, magma uh, inside the, the the corium inside the um, reactors or below beneath the, the 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 reactors. Okay, having said this, I'd like to show you uh, how big, uh, how much is uh, the amount of water that TEPCO declared. Uh, that they have to deal with right now, that it's uh, uh, stored uh, at the plant and that it's uh, in the basements of the, the reactors. So that the word that they have to uh, contain and deal with, the word that we've been hearing about, it's radioactive water. And uh, the, let me tell you, they don't really... Uh, uh, they don't really have any way to do very precise uh, measurements. So anytime they give you a precise measure, it's very likely to be an estimate. Well, it is an estimate. It's very likely to be unprecise and uh, too optimistic, just uh, from what they've been doing till now, you can say that they have always been too optimistic. And it's um, partially a lie since um, you just can give range, ranges, you can just give a, some range within the measure, where the measure lies into. You just don't come out and say 135 tons of water because it's not, it's not that way. So here you have a cube which represents 125,000 um, tons of water. A ton of water um, uh, in volume, it's a square, uh, it's, a, I'm sorry, a cubic meter. So, um, to know how big it's a cube uh, that weighs 125 thousands, uh, thousand um, tons, uh, you must consider a cube uh, with a volume of 125 um, <clears throat> cubic meters. So you just draw a cube uh, that has uh, the side in length, which is the third root of 125,000. And that's what I did. And it's uh, a cube which has 50, precisely, 50 meters in size, which is basically the size of a uh, the, the of a nuclear reactor containment building, it's just the same size. It even sounds a little bit silly, but that's the way it is. And um, so I placed this lady over here, um, and uh, I wish I could have placed myself with some chroma key ethics, but maybe I'll do it later, uh, just to um, make it things a little bit more interesting and uh, maybe to get this message to more people. Um, maybe somebody else can do it. It's a good idea. Um, and next to this lady, I placed in uh, in the Fukushima nuclear power plant a cube, which represents exactly at scale. It's all at scale. What you see, it's completely at scale. Okay, it's perfectly at scale. This cube, this blue cube, it's the amount of water that TEPCO needs to uh, treat that has on the site that it's that it's partially inside buildings and partially in basements and uh, this is the amount of water okay and as you can see it's a lot of water well you see uh, some pyramids 
here in the background and the impact state building and somewhere else there's a Colosseum. It's something I did before, I'm sorry, I didn't have much time to fix this. It, it, it's just to show how big things are and if you need to cover everything up, what you need to do, how, how much dirt you need to pile. Uh, but just for, forget the pyramids and uh, look at this lady which is at scale it's uh, I can tell you in meters I'm sorry for the ones who like feet foot is length um, uh, Han, yeah she's a not so tall pretty average woman and uh, and here you have a cube which in size it's 50 meters okay and uh, it's a hundred and twenty five thousand tons of water and somebody's gonna have to tell me how they are gonna deal with this quantity of water because at this point what I would do is just cover everything up and just make a big concrete cage over this because every single day it's cancers on the population so uh, the faster you end all this the better it is those minerals except for plutonium uranium comes from from minerals it comes from the underground so let's just put them back where they belong to let's just cover everything up you know? and make a big pyramid over it not because I like pyramids but because it's a solid structure pyramids have been in Egypt for thousands and thousands of years well, I don't know how many thousands I'm sorry I'm very ignorant uh, more than two for sure um, so three or four or five or six I don't know so and they will be there for many 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 millennia to come to in the future so yeah you get an idea okay